Right, we're going to test this motherboard. Uh, we'll wire it up, get power on it, and then we'll put it in here. This is deionized water that's in here just now. And this is how it's going to work. So I'll just talk you through the setup. This is a normal 13 amp plug. Plug it in here. The other end is going to earth the water. This is the supply to the pump. The power supply to the computer will also be plugged in here. The opposite end of this socket is an RCCD residual current device. If there is any leakage in the current, um, this will trip. So all I do is press reset. That comes on. If there's a problem, it will switch off. So it's booted to bias once I switch it on. Now this is salt water. This is off the scale. So what I'm gonna do the screen is running. I'm just gonna add a wee drip at a time. So that's one drip. And then we'll see exactly what happens and when it cuts out. There we go. It tripped at 123 pico siemens. Now for the math. This means that the current leaked more than 30 milliamps at 123 pico siemens conductivity, enough to cause great concern. The bias was still displayed at this point prior to it tripping but 30 milliamps to a human it's dangerous. This is only on a 12 volt circuit. We need to take into account if a water leaks over a 240 volt power supply circuit board. The tripping conductivity on a 240 volt power supply is 15.6 pico siemens. What does this mean? In a previous experiment, I found that the water degrades by approximately 12 pico siemens every 21 days, meaning if you have a major leak after 70 days, you will cause damage. If you have a major leak on the power supply after 9 days, it is likely to cause damage. What you take from this is up to you. If you maintain the water seals every year and replace the water every 4-6 to six months, you should be fine. I would recommend you test your own water at the next change and amend your water replacement intervals accordingly. Just as a matter of interest, I've got some tap water here. And it's actually reading 52 pico siemens, which is pretty good. But the only problem with that is uh, there's a lot of unknowns in there, um, which could increase the rate at which it degrades. So... For that, I wouldn't use it. Although, here I have some rainwater I've collected, and it's reading 14 pico siemens. Here is a place I got that rainwater, uh, just to top off a hutch with a bit of pollen that's collected it. Um, because of the process that rainwater's made, this should be pretty pure if I could collect it in, a, in maybe a, a better way uh, without a mucky tarpaulin, but if the worst comes to the worst, it is a definite option. I hope you've enjoyed this video, I enjoyed making it. Um, it's a question I've been asking myself for a long time now, as you'll see in my last videos. But uh, now I have an answer, and I can do something about it. Okay, cheers, bye, Merry Christmas.